This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. Is your rump a little too plump? If I could lose 10 pounds, it'd be right here. This baby, we both got it. <laughs> Katie and Karen are a couple of musicians desperate to tune up their physiques. I definitely don't make time for exercise, and I love my cookies. Faster. Wanting to look slim and sleek before their next big recital, you two signed up for boot camp. these divas will have to pick up the tempo and refrain from junk food if they want to stay in rhythm with the last 10 pounds boot camp. I know that it's sad but true. The last 10 pounds is hard to lose. Let's go. We've been friends for 15 years, and uh, we've been performing as a vocal and piano duo for over 10. My funny flabby arms. Being a performer, always in the public, there's this image that you need to project. If we go on stage and we're looking all lumpy and frumpy, then it's not so good. So this is one of my concert gowns. Looks pretty nice from the front, but what you don't really see is the fact that I can't actually zip it up. So when Karen and I perform, we often wear control tops to sometimes help hold things in. It would be so much better without back fat, wouldn't it? It tends to accentuate a bit of the uh, muffin top. Then it squishes out all the fat. So I've got a double boob, front <laughs> and back. <laughs> and here we have the actual victim of my chub rub. I'm tired of burning out holes between my thighs. One of my favorite foods is whip topping, and when I eat it, I eat it mainly out of the tub, and I usually get about halfway down. Well, hold on, need a sip. Because of my schedule, I succumb to the easy option. Everything that's fast and quick, I want it. We've got a big concert coming up, and we'd like to look so good for this. Big time eye candy. Yes, then when they hear us sing and play, they'll be like, oh, that's a complete package. I'm Tommy Europe, pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. It's time for Katie and Karen to face the music, starting now. Katie, Karen. Oh my God! <laughs> oh. Your dessert is here. Wow. Which one's Katie? I'm Katie. I think you ordered Nadine, which means you get me. Hands up. Oh, it's so embarrassing. What do you have over there? It's a big 4-0. You shouldn't laugh. Your bus is 41. Oh my God! Finger in your belly guessed. button. What do you got in your waist? 32. I don't think you're gonna like this one very much. 38. What? Feet together. What do we have over there for the hips? 44 inches. No way. Yes way. Your hips? 40. <laughs> oh my God. Up on the scale. Weight, 166 pounds. You look like you won the lottery. Up you get. Weight, 100. <laughs> 62 pounds. Oh, crap. This is the starting point. Ah. Four weeks, intense, hard work. We can do it. Shake on it. Great. We'll be zeroing in on Katie's thick thighs and Karen's beefy belly before the curtain rises on their next recital. For Katie and Karen, I'm not really seeing a lot of real food. Creamy dressings, oil, water, and sugar chocolate truffles, as if she's eating one or two. There's a lot of packaged processed food there. And when you're not cooking your own food, you can't control the ingredients. There's no reason to drink juice. It's drinking sugar. Eat a piece of fruit. Hot chocolate. First ingredient, sugar. Second ingredient, corn syrup. Will double your sugar, double your chin. Sometimes the story isn't in the kitchen, but it's in that recycle bin. Frozen dinner. There's enough sodium in here to spike anyone's blood pressure. Whip topping. This stuff, water, sugar, air, and filler. Katie, Karen. I brought the two of you here today to give you a glimpse into the future. These long hours when you're rehearsing, you have to eat properly. You have to exercise. If you don't, Oh, 
no. That's gaining 10 pounds a year for the next four years. That's habeas, I'm sorry. <laughs> that would put you well over 200 pounds. Ugh, it doesn't even look like her. Let's take a look at you. Again, 10 pounds a year for the next four years, over 200 pounds. That's disgusting. The two of you are performers. You can't perform if you're sick. That will make you sick eventually. I'd be too embarrassed to go on stage looking like that. Eat right, exercise, you can avoid all of that. Yes, please. OK, girls. You guys have a concert coming up, so all eyes are going to be on you. You need an outfit, sexy, revealing, and very classic. Make their jaws drop. Ew. You guys going to a costume ball? Now that's what I'm talking about. Give me a couple turns. What size? That's a 10, and that's a 10. We're gonna get those dresses in eights. Are you crazy? <laughs> eight? Think crazy eights. There's no way. <laughs> you definitely need to get the abs and stomach flat. Turn to the side, because you're showing your arms. We want your arms more toned. <laughs> On the back, a couple inches off the hips for both of you. You guys are going to be ready to perform. I'm not sure that a size eight's possible. He's a trainer, not a miracle worker. Come on, get those knees up. Why are you here? <laughs> last 10 pounds. Give me the last 10 pounds. Karen. Oh Katie and Karen are a dynamic musical duo hoping to drop pounds and inches for a big recital. This is the starting point. Done deal. After seeing themselves as a fat lady singing, That's atheist. I'm sorry. <laughs> these divas are desperate to slim down and get in harmony for the final number. We're going to get those dresses in eights. Are you crazy? <laughs> Katie, Karen, welcome to the drill test. Time to see what you're all about. We're going to start right now. Hands and knees. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. If they want to lose these 10 pounds, they're going to have to really bust their ass. I want to lunch. I want to lunch. I, I knew I was run. definitely out of shape. I hope you girls sing better than you do lunch. Especially for cardio. All the way, all the way. Touch the cone, then come to me. I think doing boot camp together oh, will be really good. Yeah. These girls are at ground zero. Energy levels, cardio, core. Time to beat them up some more. Come on, get those knees up. For both Katie and Karen, they carry a lot of their weight through the lower body. They have very weak stomach muscles. Two signed up for boot camp. <laughs> Horrible shape. Two. I think he has something for us. And one. <laughs> Finish the drill test. Did you pass? <laughs> well, it's more or less letting me know where you guys are starting from. Round zero. Uh. Cardio. Core. Upper body strength. All of them need a lot of work. If Katie and Karen do what they're supposed to for the next four weeks, they'll be singing a sweet tune. If not, see in the karaoke bar. Open those eyes, take a look at this. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> so gross. Creamy delight, a sea of whip topping, which you are going to hunt for buried treasure in. Oh, Who wants to go first? I think she should. It was slimy oh, and oily, and I couldn't really get it off my skin. Whipped topping, a delicious blend of wax, sugar, and condom lube. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. You've been eating condom lube. Oh. I eat about half a container a week. I feel like I'm going to barf. It's a cookie. Yeah, you love cookies, and you love to half them, but get real, girl. 450 calories in one cookie. What? 200 is from fat. It was pretty shocking to find out that half a cookie was 200 calories. I didn't know that. Pasta. Frozen dinner. Well, they're just so convenient. And so chocked full of sodium. Are you having it every night? Oh. Sometimes I have them for breakfast. Oh, Holy please. mother. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. What is this? Half a kilo of lard. This represents the fat that you're putting in your bodies, girls. Oh, <laughs> oh no. It's so heavy. Approximately one kilo each of sugar. That's what you're putting in your body. That's what you're putting in your body. Dump it out. Yeah, baby. 
I need your commitment. No more whip topping goodness. Promise, promise, Jake. Promise, Jacob. absolutely. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, girls, for you, it's all about balance. This is one day in the life of your new food plan. I thought that was dinner. <laughs> I thought this was one meal. You're joking, I, I know, dinner. I know. Mm. A breakfast, one cup of instant oatmeal, three dates, and 12 almonds. So there you have your protein and your complex carbs and one glass of either milk or soy milk. You need to be snacking between meals to keep your energy levels up. Right. So you're gonna have an apple or another piece of fruit and one piece of cheese and that's gonna be the light cheese. And look at this, lunch we can eat out. This is beef pho, it's a light broth. We've taken out some of the noodles, added more vegetables, yummy. Afternoon snack, that's a third cup of non-fat cottage cheese and two whole grain crackers. Not a lot. It looks a little <laughs> sad. You're like a car and you're putting gas into the tank. We don't need to fill it up, we're just topping it up. Dinner, chicken stir fry. So you've got three ounces of chicken, one and a half cups of bok choy, some sesame seeds, we've got some mushrooms in there, some onions, and it's a half cup of whole wheat noodles. That looks amazing. It looks good, doesn't yeah. it? That does look good. We want to make this so that we're eating when we're able to burn it off. So do I have your commitment? You're ready to change your yes. ways? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Shake on it, the triple shake. The triple, triple shake. shake. Welcome to your fitness plan. These exercises are gonna be imperative to do if you wanna lose inches and pounds. Come with me. You're using your core right now. Obviously, you're using your leg. I don't normally work out, so it's really different to do really focused exercises. They carry so much of their weight through their lower body. They're very soft in the midsection, so multi-joint exercises, compound exercises, that's what those girls have to do. When your hands are in narrow like that, you're working your triceps a bit more. These total body exercises, so new for me. You're doing a sit up to a stand up. And scary. Obviously we're working our abs, Ugh. getting up in this stand up position. You're working your legs, you're working your core, you're working a little bit of everything. Those are freaky, but it was sort of neat how we got to move together. Five more, Katie. Let the ball come all the way to your butt, then walk it right back out again. I'm out of shape. I'm really out of shape. These are for your hamstrings. The only way that they're gonna get results is putting in the work. So it's all fine if they do stuff with me, but if they don't do anything by themselves, they're not gonna see what they want. Nice work for the first day. Be ready for a lot more. See you tomorrow. My flowers got me in a rut. My fat fat's bigger than my butt. Must work harder. Give me the last 10 pounds. Well, I've been sore and starving the whole time, and it's nice to be able to call Karen and, and talk to her about it. Karen, Katie, two-week weigh-in time. Let's get started. Slide. Hands up. What do you guys have? We've got 37 inches down three inches. Nice. Oh my goodness. And Karen, you're at 39 inches. Down two. Wow. What do you guys have for the waist? We've got 30 inches down two inches. Sweet. Hey, nice. It's coming off nicely. Karen, 36. Down two. Nice. Katie, you're at 41 inches down three inches nice. off her hips. Woo! <laughs> and Karen, you're at 39 inches down one. So how many inches total over there? Eight inches. Wow, Karen, equally impressive. You're down five inches. Now it's time for the weight. You guys are up first. Let's go, Katie. After just two weeks, 161 pounds. You've lost five pounds. Woohoo! Nice work. Thanks. Karen, you're next. Weight, 150. Eight pounds. You are down four pounds. Nice. Right on. Let's get you off the scale. Eight inches, five pounds. Five inches, four pounds. Very nice after two weeks. Nothing wrong with that. But we definitely have to step it up a little bit. Now let's get you ladies in those Target outfits. Taking one look at those dresses and seeing them in a size eight? Yeah. That wasn't gonna happen. Like size 10 was just barely fitting. Can you imagine the, the little bulges and little spots that in a size eight? There is no way that's happening. There will be a price to pay. 
No, no. Nope. See you guys soon. I'm scared about being punished, but you know what? In a way, it's probably worth it not to have to show up in that dress. Are you serious? You guys didn't want to try on your target outfits. So I don't know how they fit, if they fit. Can't take a chance. But kick time. Come on. I brought it. Go. They took it. I don't think they enjoyed it too much. Higher. I am so proud of the fact that we did so well with the diet and the exercise. And now we get punished for it. My flowers got me in a rut. My fat, fat speakers and my butt. Jerk. Jerk. Ten pounds. The girls have been doing a great job. They have been working extremely hard. I can't let them rest on the laurels. Yeah, great job. You guys didn't want to try on your target outfits. Why not? Just mom. Must work harder. Uh -huh. I want to push Katie and Karen to another level. We can always go further. It's all about finding their inner voice. Ten pounds. Definitely thought I brought it out today. I know that it's sad but true. The last ten pounds is hard to lose. My flap has got me in a rut. My back fat's bigger than my butt. Consider your butts officially kicked. I didn't hear the fat lady Let's sing today. But Katie and Karen, they sing a sweet tune. Jerk. Jerk. Today, we've got an eight kilometer bike ride, followed by an eight kilometer run. Oh. Give me the last 10 pounds. Hoping to look stunning for a big recital, Dynamic Divas Katie and Karen have been right in tune with boot camp. The way all the way to the cone. They were on key halfway through. We've lost five pounds. Mm -hmm. But they refused to model their target outfits. There is no way that's happening. So I reminded them who the real star of the show is. Can't take a chance. But kick time. Now it's time for the ultimate test. Katie, Karen, boot camp has been a bit of a struggle at times. Today is the final challenge. We've got an eight kilometer bike ride followed by an eight kilometer run. Oh. I got some of your vices here with me. Whipped cream, lard, sugar. Each of you has a pack, 10 pounds. It's gonna be beautiful. It was all about the crazy eights. They said they haven't fit into a size eight in years. I thought it would be a lot easier than it was. Oh my God. All right, girls, come on. Are we done yet? I'm too frozen to feel anything. I hate you. It's really hard. It's pouring, it's freezing. We've got a plus 10 pounds. I'm sure it wasn't 10 pounds on our back. All right, girls. Eight down, eight to go. Holy cow. I could barely move. I felt like I was shuffling more than I was running. I want to make sure that I put them in the best position to go into those dresses, and hopefully, they'll fit. I'm pretty proud of us. Yeah. I think we did really well. I think three weeks ago, I don't think we would have been able to do this. Nice work, girls. You guys have come a long way. Let's go get some hot chocolate. Wait a minute, I'm already here. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. You guys look great. You ready? Yeah. Let's get to it. Over here. Ladies, hands up. Bust. 38 inches. Karen, you're down three since the beginning. Ooh, wow, that's nice. awesome. Sweet. Nice. Katie, you're at 36 inches, down four inches from the start. Whoa. Whoa. 34 inches. Karen, you're down four inches. Yes. Awesome. Nice. Wow. Awesome. Right on. Well, Katie, you're at 30 inches. You've lost two inches in total. Very nice. Hips. 38. Karen, you're down two inches overall. Nice work. All right, well, Katie, you're at 41, down three inches in total. Well done. Yep. That's really good. That's a nine inches for you, Katie. We are down nine inches as well. Yeah, awesome. So you guys have moved from the crazy eights. Time for the first super nine to get on the scale. Weight. 152 pounds. Yes! <laughs> Karen, you've hit 10 pounds. <sighs> Nine inches. Wow. Off to the side. Katie, you're up. After four long weeks, 156 pounds. You've lost 10 pounds. Yes! yes. <laughs> hey! Right on. Nice work. Yeah. Yeah. 
amazing results. Nine inches, 10 pounds, equals. Yeah, that's right. How's that for partnership? Pretty very <laughs> good. One piece left. Let's get you in those dresses. I can't believe I lost the same inch as Katie. I couldn't sleep last night either. I was so nervous. I didn't think I'd make 10 pounds. How are my super nines doing? Wow. Well, well, well. Crazy eights fit after all. They do. Just a couple turns. You guys doubted it from the time we tried those on. But you put the work in. I told you if you did that, good things would happen. You guys are ready to perform. I think so too. Yeah. Come here, ladies. Yeah. Katie and Karen each hit a perfect note with a total weight loss of 10 pounds and 9 inches. They're right in harmony and ready to take the stage as the true divas they are. I'm so happy I got to do this with Karen. There's nobody else I would have had to be able to talk to to say, I'm starving and so sore. We're totally boot camp babes. It's true.